what is the you know what is making you so popular here in Islamabad? Well, uh, it's it's just the love uh, of people of Telangana. We've been with them through thick and thin. They love Honorable KCR Garu and they love anybody who follows him, who is with him. So I am one of the ardent followers of KCR Garu. <laughs> that's that's the reason why we get all the love. So you're saying this is love for KCR Garu? Absolutely. Absolutely. For Kavita Garu also? <laughs> well, I hope so. But first is boss because whenever they see pink, they just, you know, brighten up and smile and support us. So that's very encouraging. Uh, we'll talk about overall picture in just a bit. I want to focus on Nizamabad. I've been traveling through the district um, and one of the big factors which everyone talks about is the turmeric farmers, their support. Uh, this time around, do you think things have turned around for the BRS? Well, uh, BRS was uh, did not lose. Uh, see, uh, my election was a very weird and technical uh, defeat because they fielded about 185 candidates against me. Although I take full personal responsibility of the loss, it is not the anger of farmers towards BRS. Farmers love BRS because in the last 10 seasons, we have given them around 72,000 crores directly into their accounts to 65 lakh farmers. It's not a small number. Turmeric farmers is a non-issue now because turmeric farmers or any farmers get the same help from the government. So there are specific issues of turmeric not getting enough MSP, etc. That is there. But that is again market conditions, etc. Uh, not exactly an anger, anger for the government. So there's, uh, they wanted a board, which the government, the BJP, is now set up. So will the BJP take credit, and will it again mean a repeat then? No, no, it's just an election board. They have not specified any rules. They have done nothing. In fact, after they formed the board, uh, the thank you, thank you, thank you. Car koi dalte bol. So we'll see a lot of interruptions, by the way, because there's a lot of love pouring in non-stop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to talk about this, about how much women love you here, about how constantly it's women who are coming forward to bless you. But go ahead, ma'am. You were making a point about the farmers. Yeah, yeah. So farming, any, any kind of farmers, we've supported all crops. We buy all the crop, all the grain. Uh, except the commercial crops like sugarcane, uh, turmeric, etc. Rest of all the grains we procure from the uh, farmers. So after the paddy procurement, within four or five days, they get the money. Even during COVID, we did not stop that. So farmers are very happy with KCR Garu, and that is the biggest fear of uh, Congress party. 2024, I know everyone's talking about this election being a semi-final. I think that holds the truest for Nizamabad. So 2024... Are you going to be the member of parliament representing the seat, representing these people around? I am very confident. I want to contest from Nizamabad and win the love of my people back. Uh, I want to, uh, uh, you know, find something that I lost in the same place. You know, that's, that's the idea. Party is to officially declare yet, but that is my personal intention. I hope it comes through. Have you been given responsibility of this region? I see that you're camping here uh, largely in Nizamabad. Uh, is that the intention that you're going to essentially take charge of this entire area, including where KCR Garu is fighting in Kamaradi? Absolutely. Nizamabad, uh, erstwhile Nizamabad includes the district from which KCR Garu is now contesting. Uh, so all these nine seats always have been in favor of BRS. Nine seats in 2014, nine seats in 2018. So our district has always supported uh, BRS. And uh, this time also we are hoping to repeat the same result because the, the area, irrigation area, irrigating area has now almost tripled in our district. So there's a lot more uh, benefits that farmers have gotten in the 10 years of BRS rule. They're very Mundala happy. Rally, so we're just hoping that we'll repeat the same uh, result. Your uh, political opponent from 2019, Mr. Arvind Dharmapuri, is contesting the assembly election this time. Do you sense that or do you fear that the BJP then becomes more powerful and MP fighting an MLA election? Not at all, not at all. BR, BJP has nothing here in uh, assembly elections. They won a few MPs last time by accident, but they're not going to win back this time. And in assembly polls also they've lost deposits in 105 places last time. And this time they'll lose in more places. Let's talk about the Telangana overall picture. I think everyone's saying that, you know, there's a strong wave of anti-incumbency against Chief Minister KCR. What do you think? you think a hat-trick is due or there could be a bit of a challenge from last time? Hat-trick to pakka hai. No anti-incumbency whatsoever because we've addressed many sections and we have inspired the people to understand and believe that all our schemes are 
uh, perennial. They are going to continue. If Dalit Bandhu is there, where we give 10 lakh to one Dalit family, each family. So that will continue. So today you will get, tomorrow I will get. That is the belief that people of Telangana have. So anti-incumbency is not there. We have set out a right course. We are going on the right course. We are uh, also, we are also taking urban, rural, everybody into our uh, confidence. And then moving ahead, so success seems to be imminent with the blessings of people of Telangana. Of the many people who have gathered here, I'd say at least 80% are women. So you're someone who definitely attracts women voters. I saw why also, because you have a personal connect with them. The concern this time around is that with the Congress giving so many guarantees to women, free bus rides, a monthly allowance, that the woman vote could be snatched away from the BRS. We, the Telangana government, uh, Telangana people, sorry, have <laughs> Telangana people uh, have been betrayed by Congress time and again. Uh, they know that whatever Congress says is not going to come true because they have promised Telangana in 2004. They had to, in under political compulsion, deliver Telangana in 2014. So their promises are always delayed and justice delayed is justice denied in, in every factor. Like in Karnataka, they promised nine hours power. They're not able to even give three hours power now. Karnataka farmers are coming to Hyderabad and protesting and telling all of us, please don't trust Congress. And within a period of three months, there is a change of CM. Uh, the talk is going on in Karnataka. So the political instability that Congress brings to our state is going to hurt our interest in terms of investments, in terms of jobs, in terms of uh, stable uh, stability and law and order. That people don't want it. Because during Congress rule, we at least had 113 days of curfew over a period of 10, 15 years. So we don't want that kind of a rule where there is no law and order. We don't want that kind of a rule where there is no peace. Because peace attracts investments, law and order gives stability to people's life. So we, we are people who are into positive politics. Telangana people like positive people. So they're not going to vote for Congress. It's interesting you refer to the Karnataka model because the Congress is also referring to the Karnataka model to say this is what we'll bring you. You have to, however, admit that when freebies and guarantees are given in this manner, it does woo the public. It's what happened in Karnataka. Well, last time I'll just give you a simple example. It's not what happened in Karnataka. Karnataka, BJP's corrupt, inept, and infighting BJP Karnatakas has led to by default winning of Congress. It is not Congress's talent or this guarantees. Because last time, 2018 election year in Telangana, Congress had announced 2 lakh loan waiver, whereas BRS has announced 1 lakh loan waiver. But people chose us. So people are very intelligent. People want a stable, continual, peaceful government. You know, people don't want an unstable government who will give you more money just for one time. People don't look for short-term benefits. People look for long-term benefits and there is an alternate. If there is no alternate in Karnataka, Karnataka, it was either Congress or BJP. Both of them people did not like. The better evil is what they chose. Are you underestimating the Congress though? I'm because not, uh, there's a lot of talk about Revan Reddy bringing, you know, winds of change in Telangana, about his massive rallies and his support. I'm not underestimating. I'm just being very confident and very practical about what BRS has done for the people and what Congress has done in the last 75 years to us. We gave them a rule for six, almost 55 years. Then 10 years it was TDP. But then in the Congress, we never got drinking water. We never got current. We never got irrigation water. None of our projects were finished. We never got any money or any help or any special project from Congress. So what are they going to do now? That people don't believe them. And when we demanded for separate Telangana statehood from 1969 till you know the latest movement, they killed thousands of our kids. Once they shot almost 400 people, kids on Hyderabad streets. Now next time when uh, it was given to us and then pulled back, many kids here conducted su you know committed suicide. So th the story and the relationship of Congress with Telangana is that of betrayal. We are not going to believe. Them. But they're saying that the big deciding factor <laughs> is that of Ravant Reddy. Do you think so? That he'll have some impact on the ground? Ravant Reddy is a habitual offender, is a criminal by nature, is uh, caught on camera giving bribe to a, our own MLC. What, what, what are you talking about? There is no ethics in the world anymore. If a person is caught bribing an MLC directly to vote for the other party, 
and still you become a suddenly go and become a leader in uh, another political party which is supposed to be national it is you know the standards that we are talking about people of telangana don't want substandard uh, politicians like revan reddy they have ksr who is the bigger enemy for you in telangana is it bjp or is it congress bjp is practically non existent um, because they have lost deposits in 105 seats last time this time also it will be same or more even and congress is a very 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 distant rival see people or politicians who do not find space in bjp brs as an alternative go to congress but that doesn't mean you know congress is uh, um, very good they don't have any choice other than what's kalvakuntla kavita's future ma'am are we talking about a national role in brs for you as you aiming at national ambitions in 2024 or perhaps successor to ksr garu as chief minister of telangana <laughs> which which role do you see yourself or envision yourself in ma'am my interest always has been delhi and i am also a very junior member uh, in the party i have a long time to go to rise up to the level of uh, ksr garu or senior members in the party so i don't have uh, such aspirations my immediate goal is to get elected from nizamabad parliament and then work for the party and expansion of the party across india ultimate vision that our boss gave us our leader gave us is whatever you do just keep working for the people keep keep it close to ground keep the connect with the people and that is what we do because the bjp keeps saying that you have it easy that you and uh, ktr garu have it easy <laughs> no we don't <laughs> <coughs> sorry no problem baby <laughs> get get you some water this side <coughs> i think it's been a, a rough time of non stop campaigning for you for the last many many days yeah yeah very tough we never had it easy because we worked in the telangana movement we worked in the telangana movement with the people then we work for the people now uh, we are continuously on the ground continuously in connect with the people we are like uh, any other karyakarta we are no different we are P brs party workers and very very ardent followers of our leader i came into politics inspired by my father not as a just as a father but as a leader lakhs of telangana youth came to power inspired by him so i am one among them we don't have it easy my final question to you you're saying that ksr is going to come back with a bang for a hat trick what's the number that you're giving brs in telangana i am i am uh, thinking it will be 100 that's century. a sweep a century that's the plan okay so then there's no question of anti incumbency as per you there is not and in fact if there are any small differences or small tiny issues anywhere people believe that we are going to come back to power and solve it they have that kind of trust they keep telling us didi ye road acha nahi hai aapko vote dalte aap aane ke baad kar dijiye this is how sweet they talk to us so there is no hatred towards brs or ksr the idea is that they believe in brs they want to elect us back and they want us to come back to power and do the rest of the work they understand that this is the only government which can deliver Okay, hundred plus. Post December third, I'll come back to you, and we'll Absolutely. see if that comes true. Let's hope so.